All right, well, we're taking a look at continuous graphs. We're looking at domain range and is it a function or not? First thing, super duper easy to tell whether or not it is, is, is it a function? We can use the vertical line test and that just means you're drawing a vertical line anywhere throughout this whole graph to see if there's any overlaps, which in this case, there are not. So this means that X is not repeating anywhere with different Y values, so this is a function. All right, now when we're talking about domain, it is all of our X values. All of our X values do range anywhere from, this is negative four, and that is a positive four, so they go throughout. But because these are very clearly open circles, they are not including those two numbers. So when we write our numbers for our inequality statement, we are gonna write a curly set of brackets, X, and then we use this vertical line that means such that, and then we would put the lower number, which is negative four in this case, and it does not include that, so when we do the inequality symbol, we are not gonna put a line underneath it. X, because we're talking about domain, and then another inequality symbol, so if X is anywhere between negative four and a positive four. No line underneath that because it's not including that four either. Close it with a curly bracket, and then we will write X such that in interval notation. This is gonna be a parentheses because it does not include that negative four. Anytime it does not include the number, it's a parentheses. Comma, the number that it stops at, also does not include that, so it is a parentheses after it as well. And then that's how we would write our interval notation. Now we're gonna do the same thing with range. We see that the lowest number it stops at is a negative four, and it goes as high as a four. Now this one doesn't have circles on it, but that doesn't mean anything. Obviously, if there's open circles, it's pretty clear. If it does not have any circles on it, then that means that it's including it unless otherwise specified. So since that is including, it's on that line, we are going to say that negative four can be equal to it. So this is gonna have a line underneath it because we're talking about our range, we're talking about y, and it can also equal a positive four. So you would write the line underneath that as well. And then when we go to do our interval notation, this is gonna have, because these are lines underneath the inequality symbols, we are gonna do hard brackets on negative four as well, because this has a line under it too, on that four. And that's how you would write this one. And if you want more questions like these, find them on my YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at algebra, and you can find them in my function notation playlist. Don't forget, like, share, follow me for more, save it for later, and I'll see you soon.